All right, well, not quite selling out completely, but got a trailer load of stuff that I want to get rid of um, uh, before the winter time. So we'll start off with the back here. Had this in a video a couple years ago. This is a witty uh, generator head for a witty diesel electric set. Uh, it really hasn't changed from the last date. It's pretty much in the same condition it was when I bought it. Got the uh, brush guard there, which is uh, cracked or broken there. Got this piece for it and the data plate. It's a 10 kilowatt, 127, 220 volt, three phase. Spins over. The brushes actually seem okay. They're just stuck in their holders. Next we've got a, uh, this is a 4 kilowatt Kohler generator head. This is a single bearing generator. Came off a set that I dismantled uh, in order to save the engine for another generator set. So, shot of the plate here, 1200 RPM. This is a, this unit's in pretty good shape. Just need an engine to bolt it up to. Next, I got a uh, military generator. It's a PE-197. This unit's been sitting outside for a long time. And it's been, it was sitting out long before I got it. Um, the, uh, the internal electrics don't look all that bad, really. Uh, unfortunately, I do believe the engine is stuck. I haven't tried to turn it in quite a while. But it was stuck when I bought it. So, good unit for parts. It's got the little Hercules engine. I think it's a, a ZXB Hercules. So, it's either good for parts or good for somebody who's looking for a project. Open the side door here. Next we've got a 6 horsepower Fairbanks Moore Z. This is another engine that would be a good parts donor or a good, uh, you know, put it back together and uh, get it running. It's fairly complete, although it's been disassembled partially just for inspection. Got the Magneto here, which does have spark, high tension mag, uh, governor parts, cam gear, things like that. The pop metal mag bracket was cracked when I bought it and uh, I began to repair it with some of that uh, magical pop metal repair uh, brazing rod and it actually it looks ugly but it came out alright. It seems pretty strong. Just gotta do the underside. Downside about this engine uh, it's got an old repair in the head there's no signs of leaking though. And uh, it does have a crack in the water jacket down here. Let's see if I can show you. Right there. So, he said, flywheels won't run true and it's got good compression, so would be a good uh, fixer upper or parts engine. And lastly for sale is uh, the six horsepower Stover K. Uh, anybody who's seen my uh, videos knows that this is a good running engine. I've got a video of it from a few months ago. So, this one's ready to go. Doesn't need anything at all. So, I said, um, this trailer load's going up to the um, Delaware Valley uh, Days of the Past show in Washington's Crossing State Park in New Jersey. And whatever doesn't sell there is going to go up to the uh, Jacktown Fall Show in October. So, trying to make some room for uh, some winter projects that need to get done. So, if anybody's got any questions about anything, uh, send me a comment and we'll figure something out. Alright, thanks for watching.